Hey everybody, I uh, just want to show you a couple things I found. I have a dog and we walk a lot in the woods and parks and I sometimes notice some things left behind. Uh, this is a Tractive GPS tracking collar for pets. And um, I've called the company several times, emailed them at least a few times over a few months. They said they contacted the owner uh, and told them about it. Nobody's contacted me and I've contacted them again to remind them, still nothing. It's been over half a year. I figured it's time to tear this puppy open and see what's inside because the owner does not care to contact me about it. And that's the end of that. They probably moved on. This is a shock collar, at least one component of it. The remote probably the owner has still, but the shocker fell off the dog. Uh, we'll see if it's anything more than a shocker. I mean, that's a pretty intensely, you know, I have seen other ones, but not this long, you know, poking into the necks of an animal. Um, and other ones also have vibrator motors in there and other things. So they're not in sound, right? Uh, this one may just be purely shock. So we'll find out what's inside. I don't believe it's easy to open this up. Um, I see some screw holes, so maybe we'll try to uh, unscrew this first rather than cutting it. But just in case we can't open it, I have my Dremel. So we'll be able to uh, cut it open with this. So stay tuned. I'll be back in a few minutes and uh, we'll see if I can't tear it apart. I'll show you me uh, uh, a video of me cutting it open. But first, let me try the screwdriver. Okay, so here we are. We managed to open this thing up. Let's find out what's in here. I see a chip. Now I'm not sure if this, uh, how well this thing managed to survive the elements, but uh, let's see if we can pull this out of the case here. Okay, that was connected to this board here. Ah, there's the vibration motor right there. That's a vibration motor. This is transformer and the cap probably to shock just to get the right charge. There should be a battery in here. Let's see if we can open this up. The battery might be behind this board. You see there's leads coming off here, black and red. The battery's probably behind this, the board. It's really packed in here tightly. I don't wanna cut the battery. And this is, it clearly says antenna here. So the antenna goes off in behind here somewhere. So let's see if we can get the rest of this out without damaging it, but it's uh, very tightly packed. And I'm damaging the board at this point, but I don't care. Ugh. 
can we get it out? Yeah, it's, it's all held down by screws here. Oh. No, they certainly don't make these things serviceable. See the battery pack under there. Okay, so here we have it. Now, uh, at first I thought maybe I got this thing dirty when I was cutting it open with the Dremel, but as you can see, this uh, transformer, let's zoom in here, obviously shows signs of corrosion. So this thing is not entirely waterproof. This is the vibration motor right here. You can see the weight off-centered and uh, it's still spinning, okay? Not very freely, so it might be corroded as well. Sorry, I'm off camera there. That's the vibration motor. This is the battery pack on the back here. And uh, this is the antenna. You can see, clearly says antenna there. There's a clock chip circuit. I'm not sure what that chip is. You can, uh, we can look at it. 521R1751. Okay, it's obviously something to do with the remote. Probably handles remote because it's connected to the antenna. This is the antenna here. Okay. And then, our battery, which is stuck on the back of this thing with some gooey stuff. It's a uh, 4.2 volts, 400 milliamp hour, Juxin Inc. K. Let's uh, disconnect that from here. There's a battery. We have some kind of the pad. And let's see what's back here. Ooh, yo, yo, look at that. Not great. Um, anyway, that's the transformer. I don't know what's happening here, but they obviously did not solder down the middle pin. So it was, you know, what's this? It's just hanging there free. Okay. But I mean, I would have at least, it looks like it was contacting something here, but Maybe that was going off to nothing. Anyway, we have a couple of chips here. That one has nothing on it. It looks like it's been scratched off. There's no markings on that one. So that's probably their proprietary chip. We have here um, in the corner something. I'm not sure what that says right over here. Maybe it's a charge circuit or something for the battery. Um, or motor. There's another few things. Anyway, that's basically it. I just wanted to show you the inside of this one. Now, I don't know what is this. This could be a uh, the speaker. I don't see what's under here. Yeah, it's probably a speaker. I see a couple of openings in there. So this is probably the tone. Um, what's what creates the, the sound. This is the vibration motor and the transformer and the cap probably uh, work together to give a shock. And the shock, this would have been wired up as well, but obviously I broke it. It's connect, connected up to here somehow. One was here, probably to the transformer, and the other one, who knows? 
Not a great soldering job. I mean, that looks kind of like a big blob over there. Um, there's a button here that's not really user accessible. And that's it. And some kind of trim. All right. Anyway, so that's the shock collar. Let's move on. I'm zoom out. Can I zoom out? Come on. Okay. That's the shock collar. Let's zoom out and go into Tractive. Okay. So we'll open this up. And once again, let's see uh, what we can do here with respect to opening this up. We're gonna try to pry it open before we start taking out the Dremel. The other one needed the Dremel for sure. There's no way I could have gotten that opened up. But this one, it's softer plastic and I can get under here. So there's a chance that we may be able to squeeze it open. You see? And this is more sophisticated, it should be. It has a GPS unit inside. There we go. Okay. So it's uh, it's got some waterproof uh, gasket there, glue. And we're in. <clears throat> nice big battery. It looks like it's stuck on to the board. There's the charging uh, you can see there at the end. But let's see if we can flip this out. Okay. There's our battery. It's a uh, 3.8 volt, 810 milliamp hour. Nice and uh, good shape there. This one's obviously not water damaged whatsoever. It looks good. And there are a few screws there. We're gonna see if we can look out on the other side of this thing. Uh, I don't believe there's much going on on this side. These, this is just tape to hold down and now my glove stuck to it. Uh, to hold down the battery. But all the fun stuff is on the opposite side of this board. So I'm going to see if we can get it out of there. And uh, since I don't really care about this thing, I'm gonna just break it off. <clears throat> Who needs a screwdriver? All right, look at this. Okay, so there is interestingly something here on the side panel. I'm not sure what that is, but it was contacting this. Maybe it's part of an antenna assembly. There's, uh, let's zoom in on this. So this is made in Austria. It's called u Blocks model SARA-R412M. It's got an EMI, EI, so it talks to, maybe it's a, connects up to the cell phone network. Talks through, uh, it basically triangulates through cell phone towers rather than actual, uh, and, and then it sends GPS coordinates through that to the main server. So that's how it's able to communicate maybe to home base to the attractive uh, servers. That's all soldered down. It's one big component stuck down to the board. And this thing here, CeroCom T0013, it's another package. Uh, interestingly, I see corrosion here. So this didn't fare too well either, apparently. It looks like it's also, uh, had some issues with weather because that is definitely rust. There is a battery here, probably for the charger so that it attaches properly. Yep, at that end, there's a battery, but not a battery, a magnet, sorry. See, this is sticking to me. Um, so yeah, let's see, let's see what's going on here. 40, 20. 40th week of 2020, maybe. So it's uh, a few years old now. You think we can open this up? 
and see what's under the can here. Oh, we're getting there. What, and what, it's an interesting sort of shaped uh, device here. Oh. Well, something just fell. Okay, this is what fell, this guy. <clears throat> just came off. So there's something interesting inside of this. I'm thinking it's uh, some complicated GPS antenna of some kind. Oh, lots of good things under here. Okay, I'll have to look these up later because I don't, I don't have a data sheet, uh, you know, look up right now. But there's an OPL one thousand A two S A nineteen forty two PPX F two nine one two. Whatever that is, I'll look it up later. No doubt these are probably having to do with GPS. There's another one. And that uh, component here was connected through the can and into, the, into this uh, spot right there, like this, okay? Which I'm assuming is an antenna. And what's inside of this, I don't know. I can try to open it up and see. Now underneath here, this U blocks, this says 2103. Not sure if that's a date code or not, but uh, let's open it up and see what goodness is under this. If anything, it might not be as interesting, but uh, I cannot easily get into this thing. It's a little bit harder. I'm gonna Dremel it out. Okay, bear with me. smell good sorry all right I just needed to get that can a little bit more open oh more goodness look at all this stuff so under this we have probably chips related to cell transmission Cell phone, MX, I see, there's one. We've got another big package there, Qualcomm, okay. And there's another one there. Uh, there we go, PMD9607, OVV, and a couple other ones here. So no doubt, this is probably the cellular tower transmission stuff. This is the GPS receiver. And uh, I guess it communicates, well, it finds out what the, lo tra the actual coordinates are, sends it over to this thing, which then talks to the cell phone network and then transmits it as data over to the attractive servers who probably pay for all this stuff and you know you pay through your subscription to them. I'm still interested to know what's inside this package. Um, it just looks like a big block of resin. There's gotta be something in here. Anyway, let's cut it open if we can and see if there's anything inside there. Hopefully without cutting my fingers off. <laughs> Well, interestingly, it's just a big piece of ceramic. I mean, I'm not getting into this thing at all. Why is it made of ceramic? Good question. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to find out more about this thing. 
If you have an I any ideas, leave it in the comments. Um, but for now, I think I've butchered this thing enough. Thanks for watching. That was a quick teardown of the Tractive GPS collar for pets. That's the package there with the battery and some kind of a weird ceramic package that I still don't know what it does. And then here we have the leftover bits of a uh, shock collar slash vibrations uh, sound um, deterrent for a dog for training purposes, along with its battery, both of which uh, have had some elemental damage. Uh, of course, this one, I don't know how long it's been out. It's completely rusted on the inside, not in good shape at all. You can see the board here. This is all corroded underneath. And this, uh, which actually probably was still functional but is showing signs of corrosion because I saw on the can at least one of them. Was it this one or maybe the other can? There was evidence of rust. This one here, you can see there. Probably did not have anything, uh, any negative uh, impact on the performance of this thing, but eventually it would. So. And uh, this probably is a piezo, now I know what it is. This is probably a piezoelectric sound device here, probably beeps. It's just embedded in the case here, but it probably gives some audible tone. Maybe if you wanna find it in the field without your camera, I mean, without your uh, phone or GPS service, this thing here looks to me like a piezo speaker, right? I wouldn't be surprised that it's a piezo speaker embedded on the side. Um, other than that, there's not much else here. What is this? There's a lead going off to this thing. It's just a piece of tape. So I don't know why they soldered it down to this thing. This could be, oh, it's an antenna as well. Look, if you look carefully here, it's some kind of flat flex like material. This is down, soldered down to there and you can see a whole bunch of weird patterns in there. So either it's some kind of fractal antenna or maybe it's a receiver for the base unit. In any case, there you have it. Hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, as always, appreciate any feedback. Thumbs up if you can the video and we'll catch you next time. Bye for now.